Salve a tutti ragazzi, bentornati sul canale di Quelta Leale, eccoci qui di nuovo con Metal Gear Solid 5 e The Phantom Pain, siamo con un altro video extra per quanto riguarda le cassette, visto che dalla missione principale ci erano arrivati anche dei rimandi, io qui eh, li registrare, sto registrando dopo aver fatto qualche altra missioncina, comunque... Um, quelle più importanti naturalmente come per le missioni sono segnate in giallo Però uh, dobbiamo andare a sentire quella dell'interrogatorio di Emerick del corpo Riguardante il corpo trovato nel pod Quindi andiamoci a sentire questo intanto Fine, yes, Strangelove was doing AI research in that lab Why hide that until now? Why? Ok, so what? I wasn't working alone You've got to understand. You do understand, right? I didn't want to drag her into this. It's my load to bear, alone. So you didn't create the AI intended to drive Sahalanthropus. It was strange, love. Skullface was never in favor of AI control. So naturally, they argued. Strange, love, she... She got him angry, and then... He killed her. How? You didn't see it? So you found her inside that pot after the fact. And you just left her body to rot in there. Or perhaps you put her in there afterward. I... I... I asked him not to take her away from me. So she was killed by Skullface, but you asked nicely and he put her body in the AI pod for you. That's right. Pathetic. You know, we have another idea. That you killed her. What, me? Oh, I couldn't kill her. You killed her and locked her body in the pod. I wouldn't. D don't treat me like one of you. I, I can't just kill anyone whenever I feel like it. I'm a, a, a normal human being. Oh, I see. So you just shut her inside and waited for her to die. I would never do that. What, you mean she killed herself? Yes. She, she climbed inside that pod and shut the door. It, it can't be opened from the outside. It, it was suicide. Mm. Suicide, I said. She killed herself. She got in when I wasn't looking and, and suffocated. She'd often try to do things like that. Uh, by the time I realized and opened the door, she wasn't breathing. I, I got scared and shut the pod again. I couldn't bring myself to open it back up. Th th that's right. Me? Kill her? W what is wrong with you? I see. Just tell me one more thing. Haven't you gotten enough today? Okay, okay. I see it's a painful memory. You don't have to answer, just listen to the question. <sighs> you see, we examined her remains. She had a scar on her lower abdomen, a surgical scar. It had been stitched up and had fully healed, meaning it was long before her death. She had a child, didn't she? Uh, I, I, <sighs> Your child. Where's the kid? How should I know? So there is a child. I've... Never seen his face. What do you take us for? They took it all. Even my child. I didn't even know he'd been born. I, I lost everything. How old would he be? It's four years since then. And you know it's a boy. Strange love said so. And his name? We called him Hal. Even though I never saw his face. <ride> ok, quindi siamo venuti a conoscenza dell'esistenza di Al Emerick, quello che molti di voi già conosceranno. Allora andiamo a vedere cosa eh, ce ne sono tantissime in realtà che possiamo sentire. Direi che possiamo andare a vedere anche, o meglio, a sentire quelle sull'uomo di fuoco, visto che abbiamo recuperato anche il cadavere appunto dell'uomo di fuoco. Sentiamo. You mentioned that the man on fire was crushed under Sahalanthropus in its hangar. Yeah. He was caught under the wheels of its transport platform. Mm. But his body wasn't found. What? We searched the area the moment we arrived, but there was no trace of him. I wasn't hallucinating. I know. 
I trust you on that. That means someone must have taken the body. But when I got there, everything was still as it was. Even Skullface hadn't been touched. I can't see a reason to sneak into a place like that and drag out the biggest, heaviest guy there. What are you getting at? The only option left is... He got up and walked away. That platform ran him over. Just ran him over. You're saying that's not enough? I don't want to believe it, but... Maybe not. He shrugs off bullets, even rocket strikes. There's no reason to think that would finish him. It seems ridiculous, but... I'll start gathering eyewitness accounts, just in case. If you dig up anything concrete, I want to know. You'll be the first, if I dig anything up. But I hope to hell I don't. No kidding. Volgan, the Gru Colonel, was burned alive with a Shagoha during Operation Snake Eater 20 years ago. Despite suffering severe burns to his entire body, he still clung to life. After you left Seleniarsk, Volgan's body was taken to a research institute in the outskirts of Moscow. But modern medicine couldn't explain why he was still alive. Not that the Colonel was any ordinary man to begin with. That constant electric current he had running through his body that he could unleash at will? To be honest, I was always uncomfortable around him. Thought I might get electrocuted just by standing nearby. The Institute studying him was tasked with investigating and developing human paranormal abilities. The comatose Volgan was used to further the Soviet Union's research into such abilities. But not long ago, the facility burned to the ground. And Volgan's body was never found among the rubble, even though the fire started in the room where they were keeping him. This occurred at around the same time you woke up. If Skullface was right, and a thirst for revenge can turn a man into a demon and keep the dead alive, then this man on fire who's been coming after us ever since you woke up, well, that just might be what's left of our old friend Volgan. It's not over yet. Back in 64, in Seleniarsk, you brought his plans for a utopia down in flames. That grudge is what's keeping him alive. The day the research facility holding Volgan burned down, a Soviet jumbo passenger jet happened to crash nearby, far away to the north of that hospital in Cyprus. On board the plane was a young boy who was being studied at the same facility. The plane fell to Earth from over 8,000 feet, but the boy's body was the only one not recovered. At almost exactly the same time as the crash, Volgan awoke in that facility. According to the Research Institute's documents, the gifts this boy demonstrated included psychokinesis and telepathy. To protect his mind from being inundated with other people's thoughts, he always wore a kind of gas mask. A rudimentary form of psychic insulation, apparently. We don't know where this boy is, but if Skullface is connected to him, we may cross paths with him yet. This boy is part of a new age, where nothing we understand about the world makes sense anymore. Don't let your guard down. Perfetto, quindi abbiamo sentito un po' di informazioni su Volgin, che è l'uomo di fuoco, e qualche info sul uh, ragazzo che somiglia moltissimo a Psycho Mantis. Allora, uh, vediamo cos'altro possiamo sentire. Eh, in realtà ce ne sono tante, però uh, magari ve li farò un po' video più brevi, uh, ma più di frequente magari, come detto ve li metto in, uh, insieme ad altri video normali. Vabbè, facciamo una cosa allora ragazzi, siccome gli altri presumo siano abbastanza lunghetti, facciamo che li sentiamo durante altri video, questo ve lo metto insieme all'altro video dove ci aveva accennato dell'interrogatorio del dottor Emerick, così abbiamo visto anche qualcosa inerente all'altra missione che abbiamo fatto da poco del recupero del, col del corpo dell'uomo di fuoco, le altre le sentiremo nei prossimi video, come sempre ve li metto uh, insieme insieme ad un altro video postato in modo tale da andare in parallelo anche con queste cassette audio che ci dicono molte cose interessanti sulla storia noi allora ci vediamo con i prossimi video come sempre fatemi sapere la vostra e un saluto a tutti da quel tale Ale.